This is my current helmet. It is the TSG Superlight and it's the best helmet I've ever worn. It's comfortable, certified to protect my head, and it looks good. I can't really ask for much more than that, but there is one downside, and that is the fact that before this helmet, I was running white helmets for years before this. So when I first got this helmet and I put it on my head, I was like, this doesn't seem right. I'm gonna do something that I've never done before and I'm gonna paint the helmet. I've looked at enough tutorials to feel confident in what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and get right into this. First step, we're gonna take out all the padding. It's very simple. Everything just Velcros in. Just like that, the helmet is empty now. The next step, removing all my current stickers. To make this job a little bit easier, I'm using a heat gun. This should loosen up the adhesive and make taking off the stickers pretty easy. Um, there are bubbles in my helmet now. We're about one minute into this process. We're gonna try to get rid of those. I think it'll be okay. I really hope it'll be okay. Currently, not very happy with my choices. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get these bubbles out. Definitely not my smartest move. I didn't take this into account at all. But let's continue. Let's keep going. stickers off and I've wiped away any of the adhesive that was on there. The next step is going to be sanding this. I went ahead and got some 600 grit sandpaper which should do the job pretty good. Sanding is required so that the paint actually has something to stick on when we get to that step. I don't really have a method to this. I guess I'll just start at the front and work my way to the back. Now sanded the whole helmet. I think I did a pretty good job of getting coverage over the whole thing. Now the next step is to start masking all of the holes. That way we don't get any paint on the inside of the helmet. So let's go ahead and start that process. Not very excited for how long this might take. Finally done masking this. This was one of the most tedious things I think I've ever done in my life. It is sanded, masked, and ready to go for tomorrow. I'm excited to start that process because that process is a lot more fun. So here we go, fast forward to tomorrow. It is the next day now. It is time to run you through my workstation. This is where I'm gonna be putting my helmet. I have made a freaking sick rotating platform. The helmet is just gonna sit right there. We got some duct tape there. We have a space heater sitting on a box sitting on a stepping stool. I've made a little painting space here made out of PVC pipes with clear drop cloth hanging off of them. We got some paint cans sitting in some hot water. Bought this handle thing from the hardware store, which will hopefully make the painting process more comfortable. I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod and start painting. Fingers crossed that my helmet doesn't fall off of my uh, very well-made platform. My paint of choice is this Krylon Fusion all-in-one paint and primer in gloss white. I'm hoping that this gives me the finish that I want. Now we're gonna shake this up for a little bit and get going. coat on there looking pretty good except for right here you can still kind of see the bubbling but I think it, once I put another coat or two on it's gonna look a lot better I'm thinking three coats is good before I move on to the clear I'm gonna let the coat dry for like 20 more minutes before I do the next one still kind of noticeable. Apparently I got some small bubbles on this side of the helmet as well. Both of which are from when I tried using the heat gun on the helmet. Um, so definitely don't ever do that. Not a good idea. In about 20 minutes I'm going to add some clear coat to the helmet. That's going to add some more gloss and protection to the helmet. This is my clear coat of choice for today. It's the Cryolon Color Max in gloss crystal clear. I'm going to give the helmet a couple coats of this starting right now. The 
is looking pretty smooth all around. I'm pretty happy with how the white has turned out. It almost looks as good as factory paint. I think that's the final layer of paint that I'm gonna be putting on the helmet for now, and I'm gonna catch up with you guys in about maybe two hours to come pick this up before we move on to the final steps. Two hours later. I like the way that it looks, but it's not as shiny as I thought it was gonna be. I have used this paint before, and it was a lot more reflective. This is almost more of like a matte finish. Not disappointed in it, just a little bit surprised. On to the last steps. All I have to do is take off all of the masking tape, and then we're gonna work on a few vinyl stickers to finish this thing up. I got all the masking tape off of the bottom. No, it is not perfect, but it is really freaking good for the most part. Now I have to remove all the masking tape from the vents, and this is where I'm like a little bit worried that it won't look very good, but I guess we'll figure out right now. When I put it on my head, it just looks so much more natural to me to have a white helmet on. She's looking a little boring right now, so let's go ahead and do the sticker process. I gotta freaking think of what I want to do for the bubbles right there. Cause we can't be rolling around looking like that. Definitely got some imperfections there. I got a few chips in the paint and whatnot. I don't think anyone's gonna notice it from far away. And if you're close enough to my face to see the chips in the paint... Why? Why are you this close? this thing and I can say that I'm pretty happy with the overall result. Some of the vent holes are not perfect, but I'm sure I could like take a paint pen to them or something to cover that up. But this is not a perfection channel. This is a try your best channel. I set out with the goal of having a white helmet and here I am with a white helmet. I did feel a little bit lost in the beginning on how to decorate this thing, so I drew inspiration from some of my old helmets. Something I haven't done in a while, the gold knot. I think that looks sick, along with the space needle right there, representing GHY Bikes, the best bike shop in the Northwest, and some would even say... the world. As for Bubble, I honestly, I kind of gave up. I didn't know what to put right there. We just have a cat here saying, hello, don't look here, which is obviously a joke because it'll make people look there. Anyways, this is my helmet. I'm happy with it. I made a few mistakes along the way, but I had fun doing it. So, if you like what you saw in today's video, give the video a like. Comment down below letting me know what you think and what you want to see. Give me some ideas on what I should try or make or paint or anything, really. I have new videos coming out every single Thursday, so subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Got the YouTube sticker. Oh my god, is it out of focus? Oh, no. Don't really have... Don't really have a method to this. 